Hi, welcome to part one of our three-part series on Mastercam's Port Expert. In part one, we're going to go through how to create splines to be used for toolpathing using Mastercam's Port Expert. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I would do with a model like this, with the radius at the opening of each of these ports, is I would suppress the radius because I don't want my spline to come up short. I want it to go from the surface to the surface. I've already done that on another level, so we'll go ahead and turn that on and you can see what I'm talking about. That's how we'd like our ports represented with the splines to get the best toolpath possible. Now, the next thing we'll need is some 2D wireframe geometry that defines the diameter of the port and the center point. And I also have that on another level, so we'll turn it on real quick and you'll see that's what we need. Now, we don't need our solid on right now, so I'm gonna turn that off. And what we're gonna do with this wireframe is create surfaces, then we're gonna create lines normal to the surface, and then we're gonna connect those lines with a spline. And that spline is gonna be what we use for tool pathing with Mastercam's Port Expert. So let's get started on that. The first thing we're doing is surfaces, and we're gonna do flat boundary, and the port openings, these circular, Entities are our flat boundaries. Select all of them. Now we have our surfaces that we can now make a line normal to and then connect with a spline. So for line normal to, we'll go to wireframe. The drop down here, we'll see line normal. And basically all a line normal is, is a line that's normal to a surface which is why we created these surfaces. In order to do that, we'll select the surface and then the snap point where we want the line to be. Repeat that on all the port openings and we'll be ready to create splines. If your line goes the wrong direction, you could switch it down here in the direction tab Okay, now in order to create the splines, we're going to use these lines and connect them together with a spline. The spline is going to be used for tool pathing, so I'm going to go ahead and turn level one back on since that's where I'll be doing all my tool pathing. And that's where I'll create the splines. We're going to be creating blended splines. And we do that by selecting the line and then the snap point closest to the port opening. Repeat that on each of the ports. And we will have the geometry required for doing Port Expert and Mastercam. We're done with our construction levels, so we'll turn them off and take one last look at our splines to make sure they're doing exactly what we want. That looks good. Make sure to check out part two of the series where we'll be doing a toolpath using Mastercam's Port Expert. 